the competing utopic imaginaries of lifelong learning humanistic emancipatory or utilitarian economistic continued to be played out in digital education through other high-profile hype cycles, most notably perhaps the massive open online courses, MOOCs, trend which peaked in 2012-13 as LearnDirect was declining. As Knox, Citation 2015, and others have documented, the early classification of MOOCs as either C-MOOCs, distributed, networked, collaborative, non-hierarchical and self-directed, or ex cs corporate, content-driven, linear and transmissive, quite readily mapped onto the two lifelong learning paradigms. Both forms contained a utopian impulse. In the case of the CMU-CS this was articulated in terms of the emancipatory power of personal learning networks and distributed, community-engaged learning. In the case of the XMU-CS it was focused on the power of technology to enable learning to massively scale, with potentially huge gains for accessibility, population upskilling and global reach. The XMOOC model quickly came to dominate as the power of elite institutions of higher education converged with the platform economics of increasingly commercialized providers, Coursera, edX, FutureLearn, to lock down the imaginary of what MOOCs currently rebranded for the most part as simply short courses might be. Both models have their silences regarding what kind of subject gets to be a lifelong learner, assuming an idealized individual who is naturally highly motivated self-directed and willing to align themselves to an Anglo-US model of learning and knowledge production, see Bali and Sharma Citation 2017. Knox Citation 2016. Digital technologies have been dropped as the primary delivery mode for skills training in the most current UK government program, Skills for Jobs, Lifelong Learning for Opportunity and Growth, replaced by a push for a more fundamental reconfiguration of higher and further education, UK Government Citation 2021. Yet lifelong digital and data skills development agendas continue to sit at the heart of its broader vision. This is particularly the case where it connects to industrial and innovation strategies such as the National AI Strategy, UK Department of Culture, Media and Sport and Office for Artificial Intelligence Citation 2021.